Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Evan Better Presents. This is just a quick rundown of how I got my reactor over here set up, so that you don't have to sit through an entire episode to hear the information. So, we'll look inside of the reactor here. You can see the layout I have. Feel free to pause the video to get a better detailed look, but it is currently putting out 1,040 EU per tick. Uh, zero heat to the actual case. This is done with these LZH condensators. LZH condensators, if you do not know, are a 100,000 heat dissipation cooling item uh, made as... Okay, that concerned me for a second. Made as such. All right. Feel free to look it up on your own. We're not going to get into that too much. Anyway, this fuzzy bus here, import bus into the, the AE system. It I uh, let a, a LZH condensator burn down to 100% destroyed, so 999, you can see at the end. Uh, 9999. And I set up my fuzzy bus... You have to use a fuzzy bus because you need to be, you're going to be handling with damaged items. You can't use a, a precision or a basic import bus. You have to use this fuzzy bus. So the fuzzy bus is set to split damage at 25%. When, when these items get down to 25%, which you'll see right here in a half second, when this hits over um, 7,500, it will pull it automatically out of the system. And we'll watch that happen right here. It pulls it automatically out of the system, repairs it, keeps it in a buffer, and replenishes it with a brand new one. And this will happen with every single one of these LZH condensators. And you'll see it happen here in just a half second. It gets to about 560. There you go. 511. Boom. Pulled out. New one put in. The uh, This reactor currently has, I don't even remember what it's at now because I've been burning it for quite a few hours, but I still have four hours remaining on my cycle. The damaged LZH condensator comes out. It is imported into this I have a cyclic assembler over here. This is not the most efficient machine, but it's definitely the fastest for repairing these things. I set the fuzzy bus to take 99% split damage on any of these items here. So if it comes in and it looks anything like any of these, it will automatically import it out of this system over here. Now, again, this is not the most efficient design. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. This just seems to work. It puts it into the cyclic assembler. On the other side, I have an import bus, which... Uh, a precision export bus, pardon me, that will automatically insert lapis lazuli. As, um, lapis lazuli and... Let me just show you. In a crafting grid, you put a broken LZH condensator next to a piece of lapis, it gives you a completely fixed LZH condensator. Or, sorry, it does not give you a completely fixed LZH condensator. Each piece of lapis repairs 40,000 damage. So on a fully destroyed, or in this case 25% destroyed, LZH condensator, it puts it into a state that looks similar to this. Now, the way I have it set up here is it'll jump into the cyclic assembler, repair itself up to that level. It comes in red and it'll repair itself up to that green level. This export bus pulls those green level ones, sorry, again, import bus, import bus, because it's importing into the ME network, pulls those green level damaged ones, puts them into the sys into the network. And we'll see that happen here in a second. I hope. Uh, maybe not. It pulls it into the network. This export bus pulls these damaged ones out of the network. So instantaneously, it goes in a loop, jumps back into the cyclic assembler, is repaired to the full level. This takes anywhere from two to three lapis, because again, 100% damage can only be repaired by three lapis, not two. It does 40,000 repair on a 100%ly damaged item. They hold 100,000 heat, 40,000, 40,000 is 80,000, leaving 20,000 over, which means you're wasting 20,000 worth of repair each time. You could technically figure out exactly how far you have to go to get this done. Not something I'm doing. Anyway, extra buffer of LZH condensators in perfect condition in the actual system. They automatically go in here as the old ones are pulled out. Down here we have, again, this is not needed. This can probably be done with a uh, precision import bus, not a fuzzy export bus. Sorry, once again, a fuzzy export bus. I keep saying them backwards. Apologize, apologize. Export bus. you got to remember, export from the system, import to the system. That's how you have to remember it. So this one here could probably be done with a precision 
export bus. It exports perfect LZH condensators from the system, automatically placing them into an open spot in the reactor. Remember that. It will not put it in the exact spot that you have shown here. Any spot that opens up in this reactor will take an LZH condensator. I will demonstrate that right now. Boom, LZH condensator shows up. So you have to remember that as you need to have components in here that will not wear down because if they wear down, they will be replaced with an LZH condensator, which could lead to a overheat in your system. Now this one here is just about at its lowest level. Let's look at the cyclic assembler. I want you to see exactly how this works. I can put this one up. Oh, there you go. You saw that pop in and it popped out. That one popped in, it popped out. So we'll take, uh, we'll take this damaged one here to give you an example. A new one will pop in there. And I'm just going to stick this into the cyclic assembler. Boom, it repairs it once. It pulls it in. Repairs it twice. You didn't even see that happen because it happened too quickly. So we got... These are about to get repaired. It happens around 7, 5, 11. So let's just watch the cyclic assembler. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. It's going to pull the damaged one out, automatically put it in the cyclic assembler. The cyclic assembler will automatically repair it and then put it back into the ME network. Boom. Boom, 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 instantaneous. Now, the only uh, problem is you have to regulate how much lapis goes into this machine. I haven't figured out how to do that effectively yet. I am. Uh, this is all still a work in progress. But anyways, guys, that is in uh, just over six, just over seven minutes. Basically, the uh, way I have my nuclear reactor being automatically uh, repaired. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to handle the auto feeding or auto refueling because that might be more of a problem now that. LZH condensators will automatically show up in a blank spot. I haven't decided how I'm going to deal with that. Uh, anyways, thank you guys. This has been a quick uh, rundown of how I set up my ME network for the uh, auto reactor, whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.